Oh. All right, uh, thank you again for joining me in yet another exercise in which I will be reading a paragraph to you, such as the one behind me. Uh, this one is written in the style of an interview, so you'll have a name or the initials of someone's name followed by the dialogue or what they were saying or asking during the interview. Uh, embedded within this and others are the potential for errors related to grammar, punctuation, syntax, and so forth. So please keep that in mind as you listen to me read it to you. Uh, afterwards, I will step out of frame and ask that you pause the video to make corrections independently and resume so that you and I can correct together. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and get started by reading the paragraph, or excuse me, reading the interview. So GC, Tam, what are your conservation strategies? Tam responds, I recycle plastic, paper, and aluminum. My family buys napkins, paper towels, and other products made from recycled materials. I like to help conserve Earth's resources. GC responds, Recycle for Life, this is a publication, applauds Mr. Tapan's class. They are terrific role models for adults and kids who want to do their fair share for the environment. Thus concludes the interview. All right, go ahead and pause the, or here and uh, make those corrections and of course resume when you're ready. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So starting at the beginning, Tam, what are your conservation strategies? It's an interrogative, so you know to end it with a question mark. Tam responds, I recycle plastic, paper, and aluminum. These are parts of a series, which means we need to separate them using a comma. I recycle plastic, paper, and aluminum. My family buys napkins. Again, she's producing yet another list, right? Napkins, paper towels, and other products. So napkins, paper towels, which of course you could also hyphenate. Not necessary, but you can. And other products, oops, and other products made from recycled materials. I like to help conserve Earth's resources. Here we have plurality of planets, right? Of Earth in this case. Instead, we want to showcase possession, right? It's the Earth's resources. So we're going to make it singular and show the possessive by adding the apostrophe before the S. Recycle for life, publication, which means we need to underline it, applauds Mr. Tapon's class. Mr. being a title, which is also abbreviated, so it requires a period. Tapon being a surname, which means it's a proper noun, thus it needs to be capitalized. So Mr. Tapon's class. Uh, new sentence. Let's start with the capital. They are terrific role models for adults and kids who want to do their fair share for the environment. And we conclude with a period. All right. Uh, hopefully you found this video or exercise helpful. Uh, if you did, great. I would appreciate a like. And if you'd like to continue to practice with me, I encourage you to subscribe. All right. Thank you.